In today's video, we're opening the newest collector set, Maze of Memories. What's up guys, we're back with another epic new opening. Konami has released the newest Yu-Gi-Oh set, Maze of Memories. This is the first set we got for the 25th anniversary. Technically, I think that the structure decks added on it, but the first like core set, it's not a core set technically, it's a side set, but Collector Rare set, Maze of Memories. This has Gate Guardian support inside. A Collector Rare Gate Guardian can be pulled out of here. Before we hop into it, I'm doing a giveaway. I'll be giving away all the cards we pull in this video. Just like the video, be subscribed, turn on notifications. Let me know your favorite card in this set. I'm sure a lot of you guys are gonna say Gate Guardian Collector Rare or some sort of the new Gate Guardian stuff. Let's hop into it. All right, I'm gonna open these boxes up. We're gonna go ahead and start ripping these packs. 24 packs in each box. We got 48 total packs open on this new opening. I'm really excited for this. I love opening the new sets, especially when they have old school cards inside. Okay, let's get into the opening. I shuffle these up a little bit just for a little bit of fun, but once again, I wanna remind you guys that you guys are seeing this video on Wednesday. It releases to your local stores on Wednesday, but Crusadia Avermax right off the bat with a super rare. Oh yeah, it's a collector rare set. We'll talk about that later, but we did a Rux and Special right to the front. That's a nice super rare. Very good print of that because like there's not any, really any low rarity printings for Avermax. So there's also a collector rare if you want the higher rarity printing as well. In this pack, we don't want to skip over. Uh, the Gate Guardian like support, the retrains of all the different stuff is actually really low rarity besides the, of course, regular Gate Guardian collector rare. This stuff looks really fun. I mean, it's going to be pretty terrible, but I personally am pretty excited about a Treacherous Trap Hole, a Duel Link Special is in there a lot of cards that i'm pretty excited about but yeah this is wednesday you guys are seeing this the full set i gotta stop doing this we're gonna rux the special every time gay guardian of thunder and wind this is one that you can banish two of the pieces kazijin sangha and then you get to bring out this guy a fusion you don't actually have to use like polymerization or anything like that so you old school players no poly needed but you can bring this guy out he's pretty cool and he also has a, an effect that activates two times per turn which is pretty cool okay i'm still trying to say this but yeah it's two days away from when this is set officially releases so when everyone can actually post it look we got some damage on the corner again who would have thought uh so the prices are going to be a little higher than they will end up being i dude this is so hard we rux and special in every bag that's actually a super rux and special if you guys have been keeping up with the lore of this the rux and special okay i'm gonna try not to do that every pack but it might be difficult even with the pack trick it makes it hard but yeah, the prices are going to be a little higher for most cards than they what they will be on Friday. So keep that in mind. Time to stand up. Super Soldier Ritual. We got a Labyrinth Heavy Tank. So retrain of the Labyrinth Tank, which is pretty cool. Formerly a fusion that did nothing. Labyrinth Wall. Also cool to see that guy. And if you guys want to get 5% off and buy some Maze of Memories yourself, check out Sassiato's link down below and use my code MAZERUXEN for 5% off. And uh, you guys can uh, potentially pull something awesome like the Gate Guardian, some new Gate Guardian support, stuff like that. I think it's pretty cool. Sujin, so weird to see that in here. I mean, of course, it has to be in here, but just as a regular rare. Gate Guardians combined. So this is the big one. This is the retrain of the big Gate Guardian, not like the middle ones. Sangha, Kazuyan, Sujin. If you banish all those, this guy can come out. He is a three time per turn. Thrice per turn, they say. Effect activation, which is pretty cool. I've been reviewing all these new sets when the uh, early openings drop on my Twitch. So if you guys have not been following on Twitch, go check it out. We do that every time those new openings come out. We, you know, check them out. So I, I'm a little bit more familiar with these cards than I normally, or at least I used to be. Oh, this is something. We ain't very drag with the errata and... Baron de Floor! Ultra rare already! We've pulled it! The best ultra rare, probably the best card in the set besides collector rares, and it's better than a lot of the collector rares. So, wow, what a great start to our maze openings. Baron de Floor, by the way, this is in the giveaway. Simply just enjoy that, join that giveaway, guys. Just gotta subscribe to the channel, like, leave a comment. For some reason, I get comments asking how to enter giveaways when the beginning of every video is how to enter the giveaway. But somehow people missed it, so maybe they skipped that part. Uh, oh, there's a oh, like Super Rux and Special again. There's a Solemn Judgment Super. Nice reprint there. Honestly, some pretty solid reprints in this set. Can't believe we pulled a Baron on our first Ultra. That's insane. But as I was saying, yeah, on Twitch, we've been checking out this stuff uh, early. So if you guys want to, you know, scout out the new sets before they actually release. If you want to see some Master Duel, we've been playing a lot of Master Duel. It's been really fun. There's a Rux and Special again. Utopia Rising, Super Rare, and the... Kaio Regatsu. Okay. Next pack. So one ultra rare so far. And we we already know these collector sets. I don't love the setup of them. You only get three, what is it? Three uh ultras per box. Gate Guardians. Cool to see that. There's a Silver Heart Protector. I almost fully Rex and Special, but I didn't right there. It's just difficult to the new printing of these cards, like they've changed the printing up in the last couple years. They're very slick. Like they go right to the super rares. They don't have any friction. Time to stand up. Suijin. Shadow Ghoul of the Labyrinth. That's a cool Shadow Ghoul retrain. We have a Labyrinth Wall. We got something again. And 
A Rika Glamour. So we got a Rika Ultra Rare. That's pretty cool. Not as crazy as, of course, the Baron, but still pretty awesome. I'm honestly excited for the Gate Guardian stuff. I think it's going to suck, but I'm probably going to put the, the deck together anyway. Battle Royale mode over... <laughs> Battle Royale mode. We got a Fortnite card. Fortnite in the chat. Okay, we, no, no chat. We're not streaming. Okay, we have Solemn Judgment again. Another super rare. Very nice. We're probably going to be doing the live stream opening up a lot of this on Sunday. So it's a little bit later than usual, but I'm not able to do it on Friday or Saturday. Sujin, Solemn Judgment again. We got a place that already. Um, so keep an eye out on Sunday for that stream. It's going to be fun. We're going to be searching for the Gate Guardian Collector here, naturally. Gate Guardian's there, so of course we're going to do it. So I'm excited for that. We're also going to have a couple of new videos coming out between now and then with Maze of Memories as well. Gate Guardians combined again. So we got another Gate Guardian and then Mudan. So not bad. Rika Fairy stuff in here. Uh, I don't know how good that stuff is. I've never actually played that deck personally, but uh, we've got some reaper reprints. Deep Dark Trap Hole that could be used with the Trap Trick stuff that came out. Time to stand up and on your map. On your mark, get set, do. Synchron. So this is not a Golden Pride card, which it seems like it would be because it's like, you know, on your mark, get set, go like the races. 48 packs today. What will we pull? Try not to ruck the special Nibble Angler. Song got there. Try not to rock some special. It doesn't matter. Gate Guardian of Wind and Water. This is Kazuyu and Suijin. We haven't pulled this one yet. So they have a bunch of different ones where it's... They've basically turned into the XCs monsters with like YZ Tank Cannon and all that stuff. Except for uh, slightly different on how they work. But there's all different versions. You know, every possible combination. Rikoki, Imperial Iron Wall, Spellbook of Fate. That's a cool super rare as well. I think that, that might have a collector rare. I'm trying to think of all the cool collector rares. I think Solemn Judgment might have one. We know Gate Guardian has one. There's a Black Cluster Soldier, a new version. You know, there's a lot of different Black Cluster Soldiers, but there's a new one here. It's also a collector rare, Kazijin. We have Side Beast. I think that might be a collector. There's like a, a couple of really weird choices at the collector rare spot, but Avermax is a collector rare. Unfortunately, the Gate Guardian, like the big one, the, like the fusion one, does not get a collector rare, but... I think that would have been pretty cool, but it's also nice that they got the original one as well. Chaos form. Super good to see it. Wait. Oh, that's just a rare. I thought that was a super. Okay. Wake up your elemental hero. Ultra rare. Ah, oh, no Forbidden Yu-Gi-Oh card. Anybody see a Forbidden Yu-Gi-Oh card on there? I don't. It's not there, unfortunately. So no Forbidden Yu-Gi-Oh card. It has been forbidden after all. A lot of packs to go. Let's see what we can get. Will we pull some fire? We have the Labyrinth Wall Shadow. Zephros. Creepy little punk. Treacherous Trap Hole, Angel of Blue Tears, the Kagi Yuragi get this, <laughs> and a Dual Academy Ultra Rare. So we're pulling a lot of Ultras so far. Actually, that was like back-to-back -back Ultras. That's kind of crazy. Hopefully, we'll get a Collector Rare out of here. It's about usually one in three boxes, so it's definitely not guaranteed. But if it does happen, we will be hyped. Songo, we have Nimble Angler, Ruxin Special again. There it is, a huge Ruxin Special, Evolution and Burst. Another Blackwing card. Elf and the Raven? Why is that getting a reprint? Isn't that card awful? Like, nobody has ever played Elf and the Raven. That's really weird. Royal Decree, crazy card. I mean, you got to need that if you're playing against Labyrinth. We got Imperial Iron Wall, Overlay Network, Super Rare, and then Ancient Fairy. All right. A lot of Ultras pulled. We should get six at least, unless, you know, we get a collector and that replaces, but I don't think it does. Royal Decree. Yeah, these new ones are so hard not to rock the special. Another Gate Guardian combined. That's three of them. That's pretty insane, actually. But it's such a low rarity like set, the Gate Guardian support. It's actually really awesome. It's all rares and supers. Soul. I'm not Rux and Special Link. Pray. And on your market set duel. Okay, I didn't do it. I didn't do it. I will not Rux and Special. Wow. This, this is a weird set. It's It's got some decent stuff. I'm actually hyped about the Gate Guardian stuff, but I know a lot of people won't be because it's like really not competitive. Hell, Labyrinth Heavy Tank. Not a terrible card either for the retrain. It's obviously not going to be amazing, but pretty cool to see some of that old stuff actually, you know, have just have a relevant effect that makes it somewhat playable it's not just a fusion that you can't play photon orbital and super range of deep sea colon the photon orbital actually was like a 25 dollar card before the reprint the original legendary duelist version so that's not a bad reprint either i'm still rux and specialing every time deep dark trap hole kazi Jin, red eye soul gate guardian of thunder and wind so i think we have officially pulled all the gate guardians at this point all the different fusions at least so I, I assume we pulled sangha kazi Jin, Suijin. i think we pulled do have we pulled a kazi Jin? i'm pretty sure we have but that's the one I can't remember. Rear, yeah, Rear Yoku actually got a retrain, which is pretty cool. So that's fun to see. Gate Guardian, Water and Thunder. So basically all that stuff, you know, the Shadow Ghoul, all that stuff that was terrible in Metal Raiders. Rear Yoku wasn't a terrible card. It actually had some application, but Gate Guardian, you know, never playable. They made it so it, you can at least play it and like, you know, use the card at least. I mean, it probably won't win you anything, but Ancient Fairy Dragon. Oh, did we get something else? We got a Chaos Form. 
Teardrop of the Rika Queen. So there we go. We're getting more Rika stuff. Isn't that like a, a reprint? Yeah, that's a reprint, right? Because Teardrop of the Rika Queen. Yeah, definitely a reprint. Yeah, these collector rare sets are always weird because like they're a mix of reprints and like new cards. So I, I get confused. I'm like, is that new? And then that one was definitely not new. Burying Utopia. We got Joining. We got Prey of the Jurai Gumo. Pretty cool to see a Jurai Gumo trap. Psybeast. Yeah, and it it's a trap. It's like a trap monster. So it turns into a Jurai Gumo, which is pretty fun. Let's see what else we can get. We got a Mech Knight Blue Sky. Not bad either. There's another Ruxin Special. I mean, just I've come to expect it at this point. I'm trying not to, and it literally just goes right to it. It is so hard not to Ruxin Special. We have Mech Knight. You know what? You know what? I'm just going to do it like this. That way I don't Ruxin Special. It's a little bit easier. Yeah, this way I can avoid the... Ru I'm counteracting the Ruxin Special. I'm using my hand traps on the Ruxin Special. Let's see. It's still Ruxin Special. You can't do it, man. It's so hard. Okay, nothing crazy there. I don't know how many ultras. What do we pull? Like five ultras, something like that? I'm gonna do this. Why are we even doing the pack trick at this point? Let's just let's just keep going. Thunder and wind. Yeah, I, I, I'm giving up on it. The maze of memories has defeated me. Uh, the maze. I'm lost in the maze. It's destroyed me. We have labyrinth heavy tank. That's a super uh, deep dark trap hole. Pretty cool. So uh, several packs left. Let's see if we can get a collector rare here. We have imperial iron wall overlay network super rare. Black and Zephyros. So I'm excited for these cards. <gasps> we got a collector rare. You guys got a collector rare. What's it gonna be? Okay, wait, 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 wait. Okay, one, two, is it next? No, it's the next one. Okay, whoa, what did we get? We got a collector rare, guys. You guys can win this. Make sure to enter the giveaway. Let's see what it is. Teardrop of the Rika Queen. Hey, the card we were like, is that a reprint? Yeah, it is a reprint. Collector rare and not gonna lie, this one actually has some nice texture to it. Look at that. A little bit better than they've been looking, I'll say that. It's not as good as the OCG one we saw the other day. If you guys missed that video, go check that out. It was insane. We gotta look at the 25th anniversary rarity. Uh, a lot of you guys saw that one though. It seems like a lot of people liked it, but collector rare, we'll take that. That's pretty nice. Gig Guardian of Wind and Water, super. Very nice. Yeah, we got a collector rare. That's sick. I'm excited about that. Solemn Judgment. You guys can win that one. Make sure you guys go check out the community tab to see if you want anything. Since March 4th, since March 4th, we cut off the giveaways. Tons of people came forward and claimed their giveaways that they had not claimed. So it was good to see that. That like a lot of people actually got their giveaways and stuff like that. Uh, but yeah, from now on, it's March 5th and on. Those are all the giveaways that will be, uh, it's the last post. That's everybody. But honestly, like a large percentage of people claim those. So almost everybody claimed their their giveaways from the other day so there's a couple of you guys that happened so keep that in mind if you maybe maybe you want to check see if you want anything only a few packs left in this opening collector rare already will we get a double collector rare? let's see gate guardian overlay network let's see both boxes could have a collector rare it's possible could happen we have the creepy little punk we have red eye soul and then we have super ancient deep sea king cole camp at it again six packs left of maze of memories you'll be seeing more maze of memories on this channel so if you're excited let me know in the comments what you think about the set ryoku on your market set duel and uh i i'm personally pretty excited i mean it's not like an amazing set but get it amazing yeah uh, okay but it is a very fun set uh, number 39, Utopia Rising, also cool. It's a very fun set. It has some cool throwback cards, has some nice reprints, stuff like that. Both on our world. This is a great opening because we got... Oh, we got something. Not only a Baron, but we also got a Collector Rare. Here we go. Ooh, we have the Excel Synchro Stardust Dragon Ultra Rare. Okay, we'll take that. Three packs to go. Will we get one more card? You gotta believe. We have a Gate Guardian of Water and Thunder. Okay, not a very creative name there. Gate Guardian of Water and Thunder. <laughs> Gate Guardian of, you know, combined and stuff. You know, they didn't go crazy with the name. Spellbook of Fate. Final pack. Here we go. Let's see if we can not rux and special this one. One, two. We will not rux and special. Here we go. Red, Mech Knight, Red Moon. Song of the Thunder. Gate Guardian. Red Eye Soul. And here we go. We didn't rux and special. We got something in the last pack. We got something in the last pack. Court of Justice. What is it? Here we go. Number three. Oh, another collector rare. No way! Two collector rares in the same opening! Last pack magic number 39, Utopia Rising! That is insane! What a way to end this opening of Maze of Memories. Hope you guys have enjoyed it. If you did, make sure to like the video and subscribe to the channel for more epic content coming this week. Shout out to Tone Fo Show, Daxter, JT Cho, Puffins of Doom, Ernesto Deanda, Dizzy Hoppus, Choice 333, Micycle, James Jance, TCG Trusted Cards, America Deutzer, Supreme Sage 21, and then the Show, Ian Musa, Junior Barty, Mimic Gecko, and Thomas McLean. Thank you guys for supporting the channel. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.